Hey everyone, Kevin P. McAuliffe here, and I am back again with another creative cow tutorial. And in our ongoing look at learning Avid's Media Composer and Symphony, I thought in this lesson what we would do is we would expand on the tutorial we just did on creating scrolls and crawls inside of Avid's Marquee. And what we're going to do is we're going to do a bit of an advanced tutorial on doing scrolls inside of Marquee. And what we're going to do is we're going to show you how to incorporate logos into your title roles or your title scrolls. It's a very cool technique that you know most people think you have to do in a program like After Effects, but you know what? You can do it right from within the Marquee interface. Okay, short introduction here. Let's actually get into Adobe's Photoshop and let's get started. Okay, so let's Alt-Tab into Adobe's Photoshop. Now, the reason we need to come into Photoshop is because we're going to need to create a logo to add into our title roll or title scroll. So what we're going to do is just create a composition. In this case, I'll create it 1920 by 1080, 72 DPI, which is totally fine. I'm going to be working in a 1280 by 720 project, but it doesn't really matter because we'll be able to work with this title either way. Okay, so what I'm going to do is just simply say okay, and I think I'm going to go with a blue color for my Kevin's Coffee logo here. Nothing too fancy. Well, let's just create sort of an oval here. I'm just going to fill it with the foreground color. Why don't we add a bit of a bevel to it here. I'm just going to select bevel, we'll just adjust its size. It's even okay just like that. We're not creating anything too fancy here. We're just going to call this Kevin's Coffee. Let's make sure I actually spell this correctly here. There we go, Kevin's Coffee. Maybe we'll stick it on two lines just like such. Maybe we should center it up here. There we go, it's already centered. Perfect. We'll just position it right about there and let's just increase its size. That's okay. Just just the letting here a little bit. I'm just using Alt and the up and down arrow keys here. Don't want too much space. That's probably pretty good just like that. Okay, let's position it. And you know what? Just for kicks, just to finish off my awesome looking title, I think what we're going to do is just add a drop shadow to it. There we go. Very nice. It'll just be a normal drop shadow. Okay, there we go. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to merge my layers down. I'm going to do a Control Shift and S on the keyboard, Command, Shift, and S for my Mac friends out there. We're just going to do a Save As. And I'm just going to save this as a PNG file. Now, I like doing PNG files because there's no alpha information. Anything right now, there's no key information required. You don't need to actually create a separate channel that has your key information. Anything that is checkerboard here is transparent. So we're going to just call this Kevin's Coffee. I'll say Save. Just save it with no compression. I'll say OK. And it'll be right here on my desktop. Perfect. I can even see a little preview of it. Kevin's Coffee. And let's Alt-Tab into Symphony here. And of course, we're going to need to navigate up to Clip. I'm going to come down to New Title. I'm, of course, going to select Marquee. Now, because we're actually going to be creating this not as a standard rolling title, one that's going to be adjustable inside of Media Composer Symphony, we're going to need to get in and tell Marquee how long this title crawl is going to be. So what we're going to do is I'm just going to adjust things here. There we go. Very nice. I'm, of course, going to come up to File. We're going to navigate down to Duration. Uh, maybe we'll just set the duration to be about 20 seconds. I think that's okay for what we're going to be doing. And since I don't have my text document here, we'll just type some stuff in here. We'll do Directed By. And of course, what I'll do is I'll copy my name so I can just copy and paste it in each time. So I'll say Kevin McAuliffe. I'll just do just undo what I just did here. There we go. And what we'll do is, again, just like Kevin P. McAuliffe, I'll hit Control and C on Windows, Command and C on the Mac. Just so I can copy my name, we'll say Produced by, of course, by myself, Edited by myself. And, of course, what we're going to do is we're just going to keep grabbing this and just dragging it north here. And let's see what else was done by me. It was uh, DOP was, of course, Kevin P. McAuliffe. Uh, guy who watched it was, of course, Kevin P. McAuliffe. Now, here's where we're going to get in and add the coffee company here. So let's just, again, we're just going to adjust our bounding box here. So the guy who watched it, of course, by dragging the bounding box over, we can have all of our text uh, formatted the way that we want it. Now what we're going to do is we're going to say catering by, and I'm going to put the company logo in here. You see this all the time in you know television scrolls and film scrolls. So we'll say catering by, and then of course we're going to have the company logo there, and then we're going to say copyright 2013 by KPM Productions. Let's see if I spelt all this correctly here. Just scroll up here. 
Ah, look at that, KPM Productions. Now, of course, this is all way too big, so we're just going to shrink the size here. I'm just going to make sure my bounding box fits right like such. Very nice. Now, I think what we're going to do is just put a couple more spaces in here so I can have the logo relatively big. That's looking pretty good, I think. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is most people would think I'm going to get in and animate the role, but we're not going to do that. We're going to get everything set up the way that we want first, and then we're going to worry about animating the role. So first thing I want to do is I actually want to center everything up, and I'm just going to make sure my bounding box stretches from the edge of title save to the edge of title save. Very nice. What we're going to do now is we're going to navigate up to File, and I'm going to come down to Import, and I'm going to say Image. It's going to ask me where the image is. It's right here, Kevin's Coffee. I'm going to simply say Open, and there's Kevin's Coffee, nice and big. Because remember, right now, Marquee is set up for a 720p project. Of course, the image I'm bringing in is 1920 by 1080, 1080i or 1080p, so it's obviously huge. So what we're going to do is hit Control and Minus on Windows, Command and Minus on the Mac to zoom back. We're just going to take this, I'm going to shrink it down, and we're going to make sure that we constrain the proportions by holding Shift on both Mac and Windows. And all we're going to do is just position this roughly where we're going to want it to go. And that's probably pretty good. I'll just zoom in here. Now, now obviously, this is sort of at your discretion on how big or small you want to make this. I'll just put it, nah, you know, even that's pretty good. Okay. Now, what most people think we're going to do next is we're going to get in and we're going to adjust our uh, scroll or our roll. But we're not going to do that because watch what happens. If I start adjusting this, not working. If I adjust this, not working. If I select them both, yeah, it works. But the problem is the instant I set things up, nothing's going to roll together. So how do we get in and lock the two of these together? You know, sort of like in After Effects, when you parent something together, how are we going to lock these two elements together? Well, it's actually very easy. What we're going to do is with both elements selected, and you'll see if I zoom back, Control and Minus again, Command and Minus for all my Mac friends out there, you can see I have both the credits and the logo uh, selected at the same time. And what we're going to do is navigate up to Object, and we're going to come down, and we're simply going to say Group. Now, as soon as I do, you're going to see the bounding box around the logo disappear. Why is that? Well, because now these two items are one. You'll see. Very, very cool. So what are we going to do now? Well, I'll tell you what we're going to do now. What we're going to do is we're going to, we're going to head on over into basic animation mode. Now, of course, what we want to do here, and we'll just rejig everything here, is we want to animate this off the screen. So we're going to turn animation mode on. I'm just going to take the scroll or the roll. We're going to put it right off the frame here, just like such. We're going to come all the way down to the 20 second mark. I'm just going to grab it. We're just going to drag it up here. I'm holding shift just to make sure that we stay in position. But with the bounding box on the edge of safe and safe, it's going to actually do that for us. Not when we get out of the left and right bounding box. So I'm just going to hold shift. We'll just slide it right out of the frame. It's going to turn animation mode off. I'm going to come back here now and you'll see there is my title roll. Now remember, if I wanted to get in and add something like Motion Blur to this, what we can do is navigate up to Render and come down to Options. And you'll remember that Motion Blur is located right over here. So if you want to add Motion Blur, you can do that right here. But obviously remember, by adding Motion Blur, you're going to slow down the render of your title. But guess what? It's still a lot faster than exporting this, going into a compositing application, doing all your you know, credit work, and then coming back in and importing it that way. So keep that in mind. I'm just going to cancel out of that for a second. What we're going to do is simply say File. We're going to say Save All to Bin. You're going to see that Marquee is going to start rendering this title roll out. You'll see again, rendering really fast. Now, obviously, I could get in and add as many logos into the roles I wanted to. I could, you know, position them left, right, and center, you know, within, you know, text, however I wanted to have it laid out. And all I'd have to do is just group everything together so that they all move as one element. Again, you'll see the 20 seconds is rendering exceptionally fast. I haven't sped anything up here. What you're looking at is what you get. And you'll see down here in the lower left-hand corner of the uh, composition window, it actually tells you what frame it's on. Right now we're on frame 400 of 480. And you see it's just rocketing through all these frames. Again, remember, we're working in 720p, 1280 by 720. So now we're obviously back in Marquee, or back in uh, Symphony. And what we're going to do is just save this into the graphics bin. So of course, I'm going to say Save. What it's actually doing now is importing the TIFF sequence that it just rendered out into the temp folder. Once that's done, it's going to go back. It's going to create the alpha channel for us. We'll just give it a second here. There we go. It's creating the alpha media, and it's going to do one more pass when this is done. 
And like I said, the great thing with working this way is that you don't need to leave the comfort of your nonlinear editing application. You can do everything right from where you're sitting, which just makes life so much easier, especially if a client wants to get in and make a change. Now, obviously, you're going to have to, if you make a change, you're going to have to go through and re-render everything out because the animation has been completed. But guess what? It's just a lot handier being able to get in and adjust the, uh, the role. And I'm going to show you how we can do that as soon as this is done. Okay, so what it's going to do now is it's just going to go through one last pass, which is the creating uncompressed alpha media, because obviously we're going to want to key this over top of something. And once it's done, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to grab a, a clip, a video clip from my stock footage folder, and we'll just drop it into the timeline. You can see how this is going to work now. Once it's done, you're going to see that it's going to stick the element in the bin. It's actually also stuck it up here in the preview window, and you'll see 20 seconds long, exactly as we had it laid out, and you'll see I drag through, there it is there, and there's the Kevin's Coffee logo. Again, what's very cool about this is I can simply hit play, and this is a real-time effect. Very cool. So let's get a clip to work with. Maybe we'll just select a, oh, I don't know, sure, a motocross clip. Doesn't want to open that one. How about a gliding clip? There we go. I think it's because I moved that bin. That's why I didn't want to open it. Now, this clip is 10 seconds long, and we know that our animation is 20, so we'll just grab a couple of them here. See if we've almost got it. I think we're good there. What I'm going to do is just put a dissolve in between these two shots. We'll just say centered up. I'm just going to create a new video track by pressing Control and Y in Windows, Command and Y on the Mac. And what we're going to do is just take our animated title roll here. And let's just drop it in. And what do we have now? We have a real-time title roll directly out of Marquee with an awesome logo. I got to say that logo, I was very impressed by how awesome this logo looks. It literally looks like I spent about 30 seconds working on it. But guess what? All you have to do now is call your clients up, say, you know what, send me your logo. I can easily add it in to the title role at the end. And what's really going to amaze your client is the fact that you don't have to leave the comfort of your nonlinear editing application to add their logo into your credit role. So if you have any questions, you have any comments, or you have any tutorial requests, you can send them to Kevin P. McAuliffe at gmail.com. This has been Kevin P. McAuliffe. Thanks a lot for watching.